welcome to Watch Simplicity, Mom Austin. All right, so we love time-related things, and this is kind of an interesting world time map, courtesy of Seiko. This is what I would call functional art. The punters have spoken. What watch am I taking? Well, of course, the Explorer 2, but the Seiko 5 white dial 369. Only two people voted for it, but uh, nobody really voted on the poll. I think Casio got one, the other Seiko 5 got one, this got two. Now, I think it was Mainer in Japan, Brandon and Blue Shirt Buddha that said I should take the Vostok. I think the Vostok was a great choice. I've worn it for a couple of days, so I'm so, kind of tired of it. And um, the Casio, I think, would have been a great choice as well. But there you go. There you go. It was a meaningful poll. I'm, I'm doing as <laughs> instructed. All right. Will I wear it? Probably not. Um, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. If I go to any dangerous parts of Phnom Penh. But anyway, I'll probably just stick to this. But... Uh, Great to have a beater all the same. All right, let's go. took to the hotel from the airport to my hotel which is in Phnom Penh four dollars they use USD here and when I went out of the airport a guy quoted me ten bucks um, I, I came back at him with seven he went for nine I said no deal walked on found this gentleman right here that'll do it for four dollars for USD all right off to the hotel <coughs> some fake USD and they sling that stuff here. Last time I was in Phnom Penh, I paid with a hundred dollar bill, got back 20s. Next day I was checking it out and it was uh, fake. So gotta watch out for that fake money. Exhaust fumes are off the hook. I'd say it's about oxygen to exhaust fumes about. All right, man. Thank you. Got five there, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right, guys, just checked in. Welcome drink. Let's try it out. Here's to Phnom Penh. Fruity, non-alcoholic, something. Sorry. Okay, right, guys, let's check out the room. That was my watch that hit the door jam just then. Ouch. All right, so the bathroom. Myself, a bed, some windows, TV. This is kind of cool.
All right, there we go. The watch is still intact. All right, the wood door jam didn't hurt it. All right, so what now? Well, I think I need to stock up the room with a few beers, maybe some spirits. Uh, pretty nice view. Uh, dusk falls. Um, it's just after six. The plan was to go out, get some booze to stock the room, maybe have a beer, and uh, and then venture out. But uh, it's getting late, sort of. And uh, instead of hitting the convenience store and, and stocking up, I, maybe I'll just have a beer out here or something. I'm kind of walking around this area. This is my hotel area. And uh, seeing what they have. Japanese noodle shop. All right, probably won't do that. Italian over there. We're exploring properly. Straight ahead there. All right guys, just stumbled upon this Eon supermarket and um, I did like a U and my hotel is like right there. In fact, I can see my balcony. So, all right, well, we're back the on the plan. One dollar on the right of the tag or on the left, 4,100, that's the Khmer currency. And um, on the left, you got some Cambodia lager and then in the middle, Angkor. And then on the right, Anchor, uh, literal Anchor there. Uh, I think we'll go for the left in the middle. All right, pretty much a selection like you would find in Japan. I mean, Eon is a Japanese store, so the whiskeys they have, uh, Jack Daniels, Chivas, and, and this blend, I've never heard of that. And, uh, and then when you pay, you get your change in Khmer money. Thank you. All right, we'll just stick with the beers. All right, guys, so we're all stocked up. And uh, according to the guy at the store, this, this is the best. And I was kind of worried about not having a bottle opener, but check this out. It's got a little pop top. How's that? It's my favorite beer here for that, if nothing else. This one uh, just has the regular, uh, regular standard beer top.